Hi guys, it's Denise with Ladybug Stampin'. I've got a special video for you guys today. It's not a, not a tutorial, but it's actually my um, holiday catalog first pre-order haul. Um, so I want to just kind of go over this. I don't have a catalog to show you guys, like the front of the catalog, but there will be a picture, of course, on the, um, on the cover photo. So let's get started. Okay, I'm just so excited. So the first one we have, this is our um, Joyous Noel Suite. So it comes with um, some of the stuff. It also has a pack of uh, three pack cardstock, but I don't usually get those because I already have plenty of cardstock. But it's a great thing to add to use with this um, suite. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing is the bundle of the stamp set and the punch. Peaceful jo Noel. Um, it's really cute. It's got like these limbs. You can uh, make some wreaths with these. I love the um, fonts, how they changed it up. It's not all one, um, like here. And then um, this looks like some uh, two-step stamping. So that's great. I can't wait to, and it is photopolymer. I can't wait to play with this. And then it comes with this awesome punch. Oh my gosh, I'm so I just, I love this punch. I guess I like any kind of leafy punch or punch like that that adds a little texture to the cards. So I'm, I'm excited to use this. The other thing, the new, um, with this suite, you get this. It is, what color is this? Mer Mary Merlot in copper reversible ribbon. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that pretty. Now turn it over on the other side. It's got that pretty. So it's kind of got like a copperish Merlot. So when you, I'm going to make a bow with it to kind of show you what it will look like as a bow. So it kind of gives it a two-tone effect. And depending on how you fold it is what look you'll get. Oh, isn't that cute? Can y'all see that? Pretty. The next part of the um, suite is these, what are these called? Snowflake and Stars Wire Elements. Now these are cute, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open and show you guys because I do put these in another container. I name them and stuff. Okay, let me just show you a couple. What else is there? Star, snowflakes and stars. So they kind of look the same. Oh, no, there's a star. Okay. So here's the star. Or no, that's the snowflake. <laughs> and here's the star. And these are a copper. They're like copper wire. Oh, I wonder if you could un undo those and make something different with that. <gasps> That's a good idea. And the next thing is the Joyce Noel 6x6 Glimmer Paper. And this has, um, I'm trying to think what colors they said was in this. It doesn't say on the front of it. No, it doesn't. But aren't those pretty? Oh, I love glimmer. I love glitter. Especially at Christmas time. Who doesn't love glitter at Christmas, especially? So you get this gorgeous, um, it's like, is this copper? Let's see what's in this. This said, the colors are gray granite, Mary Merlot, Sahara Sand, Soft Sway, Tranquil Tide, and Whisper White. But I'm pretty sure this is, is copper. Well, maybe a goldish. Maybe it's a more goldish, copperish. Yeah, maybe copper. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. So that's very pretty. And then here's the other side. Okay. Then it's this one here. This has also got some foil on it. Like the first one. And then this is the other side. I think mean, that'd be great for man for mail cards right here. Didn't not even for Christmas, just mail. I like to look at beyond the holiday. <laughs> Oh, this is some more uh, foil. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love these colors this year. And this side with the little snowflakes on there. Oh, look at the deer. Oh, those are so cute. Let's see if I can get that to shine. To shine. There we go. See it right there at the top? Oh, that's pretty little white deer. That's cute. And then this is the other side, snowflakes. And then some just sprigs. I love this paper. Oh my goodness. I love this paper. I think I just love all paper. Well, no, I don't like all paper. There's some paper I don't like. There we go, there we go. You can see it really well. And then this side. 
This is the other side of the deer paper, and I like this again for mail cards or birthday cards or just any other card. This doesn't look all Christmassy to me, you know, it just doesn't. You, I mean, you can use it for Christmas, but you can use it for other things. Oh my, I am loving this paper. Oh, y'all, that is so pretty. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like, there you go, like the twigs, like the pine branches behind, really softly. And this is the other side. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this sweet. Here is the next suite. Now this one is called Festive Farmhouse. So let's get the big box out of the way first, okay? I, I just, <laughs> I've already seen this. I've opened this up and oh my goodness. I thought this was gonna be smaller. So I was very, very pleasantly surprised that it was bigger. This is called our Distressed Red Card Tin. And I don't know if you guys can see the, yeah, there we go. The distressing on this. And I'm going to tell you, this is made um, standard for our um, standard cards. So it measures what, um, about six and three quarters this way. And four inches this way. And then the height, so you guys can kind of tell, is mm, about four and a half. So that's a really nice tin. And let me tell you what I plan on doing with this. I am going to use one in my craft room because I do have red elements because of the ladybug. But my house is a farmy house kind of style and my kitchen has some reds and some blues in it. I plan on getting one of these and putting some um, uh, greenery in it, maybe a plant in it. I can take the lid off. I can even put it down here. No, maybe not. Or you could if you wanted to like hot glue it or something. But... You can use it for cards, which I will use. So I will more likely be getting more of these. I love this. <laughs> so this is called the Festive Farmhouse uh, Bundle. And this is part of the Festive Farmhouse um, Suite. And this is the stamp set. Look at the truck, y'all. That This truck, this style of truck is still popular this year. I like that. I like the tree. That's cute. Okay, and here's the um, framelits. So, oh, you've got a fence. Look at that to make a fence. Oh, I like that. And then the other side. Okay, so you have your tree, your truck, some uh, sentiment framelits. This, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think you could use this for snow. Like a bank of snow. Oh, I, I like that. <laughs> Just for another set stamp set we have. Some little bows that we, I guess you can put on the tree here. Um, this cuts out the house. And again, another framelit for the sentiment. And these look like, oh yeah, the wreaths. So these are the wreaths down here. It looks like you get two, so you can cut two at a time. I like that. And this is a new um, dynamic textured impressions embossing folder and it's called corrugated so this is the one that makes it like a 3d effect and you can spray it mist a little bit of water on your cardstock and it really gives it a deeper impression and this is corrugated corrugated I don't know if you guys can see that but we all kind of know what corrugated corrugated ugh, looks like look at that oh I cannot wait to play with this use this on some crumb crumb cake there you go Put that back in there I like to leave them in there until I label them okay so here's some of the accessories so one thing I want to show you guys, these are galvanized buttons. Look at that. Those are so cool, y'all. And they are, they're wavy, like, oh my gosh. That's going to be a cute card. That's cute. I like that. And then the next thing is, this is uh, the Festive Farmhouse, farmhouse Elements. And there are two of these in this little um, package. So in my um, accessories, Fun, uh, share you actually get one whole sheet so you get Mary joy Noel you got the Christmas trees you can you guys can use these and leave them like they are you can add cardstock DSP if you want to trim it out uh, you can use um, some of the blends markers inks rolled on these are great to have I've really sort of been using these a lot more then this is the festive farmhouse cotton twine this is a three pack and if I'm not mistaken, this is cherry cobbler. Mm, 
that might be garden green. Let's see what colors are in here. I can tell you real quick. So cherry cobbler, mossy meadow. Oh, that's mossy meadow. And then uh, berry vanilla. So those are nice. I like those. I'm just, I love ribbon. <laughs> and this, oh, mm, this is called striped burlap trim. You know what? Again, like I said, I have um, a farmhouse theme, like decor in my house. And I will be using this on my Christmas tree, believe it or not. I plan on getting a couple rolls of these to use on my Christmas tree. I have been looking for something kind of thin to go with the other big ribbons for my tree. And I'm going to be using this. Plus, I can use this on for frames and different things. So, I'll be making, you know, when I make that stuff, I'll make sure I post it. Y'all know me. I love plaid. <laughs> I love this paper. I absolutely love this paper. And then this side, this, this the other side kind of got some snowflakes, plaid. Looky here, guys. Now, if this does not scream scrapbook page, I don't know what does. It also has some other ideas for this paper. Oh, I love this. I wish I could get just this paper in a pack. This is the other side, some red stripes. This is going to be perfect for scrapbook pages for Christmas this year. And then some more plaid. This reminds me of my dad. He used to wear plaid shirts back in the day when he was around, when he was here with me. Then this green stripey, but this reminds me of my dad. Here is some more like uh, barn wood, cards, paper, uh, design, yeah. Some more barn wood paper, <laughs> DSP. I like that. This one more looks more, um, not as photogenic as the other one, but I like it still. And then, oh, look at the words on this one. It has Merry Little Christmas, Fa La La La, the hop. Deck the halls. Oh, so it's got some different Christmas sayings. I like this. Again, oh my gosh, I love this. I love this, I love this DSP. It's so fabulous. Y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all, I, I love this holiday catalog. I love this holiday catalog. And then this one's got, did I show you guys what's on the other side? <laughs> this paper, sorry. So it's got these little, you know what? This is it's a good paper for mail cards. Again, yes, it's for Christmas, but again, look out, you know, it can be for birthday cards and thank you cards, retirement cards. This as well, this could be used for babies. It could, this could coordinate really well with our um, twinkles, Twinkle Twinkle um, Sweet. I like that. And then again, the stripes. Uh, Mossy Meadow. I like you, Mossy Meadow. This has to be, I think, <laughs> besides the Festive Farmhouse, this is my number one choice out of the whole catalog for me. Uh, it, it, it just is for me. I have so many ideas for this set. Okay, so let's go with the um, first, let's go with the stamp set. It's called Country Home, and this is part of the Country Lane Suite. Look, the cotton, the milk jug, uh, another little milk jug. This is... You know, just reminds me of old, way back in the day. I uh, love it. Little look, a little tin tile. That looked great embossed. I love simple, simply thankful for all the good things. So grateful for someone like you in my life. Happy harvest blessing. So this is kind of like part of their fall Thanksgiving kind of um, sweet. And it comes, look at this. Chicken, what this is called. The chicken wire elements. You guys, again, this will be a part of the accessory bundle or paper or share. Oh. Yeah. Mm -mm. I like this. So, you guys will be getting one of these. Let's open it up. I'm going to show it to you. I'll just open one because I want to show you something. So, they do have, it's kind of like the silver. On the on the side, I don't know if you guys can see. There you go. But on the other side, it has like a white where you could actually color this side if you want. So if you want some red or you want some black or something like that, chicken wire, you can actually color on this side. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. Put this to the side. Um, another part of the bundle is these galvanized clips. 
And I'm going to show you something here when I get the DSP out and stuff, what you can do with these clips. Is that to the side? This is called Braided Linen Trim. Y'all, this is so pretty. It's so cool. Another thing I want to show you, it's almost like our copper trim. You can actually fray this at the ends like this. Show you that. So you can actually frame that and that could be part, you know, part of an end of a card or something. I like that. I like ribbon. Y'all know I love ribbon. The other new I, uh, embossing folder is dynamic textured embossing folder is the tintile. Oh my gosh, y'all. Wait till you see this used. Look at that. And this is um, dynamic, the dynamic textured. So this means it's like a 3D effect again. You guys, this is going so many places in my house. <laughs> I wish I could use this on real tin and then tile on my ceilings. That's how much I love it. <laughs> okay, so that's that part. Uh, these also have, these um, also are introducing two new, are these new or are these in, in the new annual catalog? I can't remember if these were new or new in the holiday catalog, but this is Blackberry Bliss Stampin' Blends markers. These are uh, Stampin' Up's alcohol markers. So you have the dark and the light. And you can order these separately or order them together and get them in a bundle. And then this one is the dark. Oh, this is dark. Okay, this is the Cajun Craze set. I haven't opened them yet. So I literally just opened my box. And then this. Oh, wait. Wait. This is some new foil. This is actually called galvanized metallic paper. So it's not even foil. It's galvanized metallic paper. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be using in that tintile embossing folder. Look. Oh, yeah, this is definitely not like our silver. This is, it definitely looks galvanized. Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> and this is the Country Lane Designer Series Paper. And this has the colors Blackberry Bliss, Cajun Craze, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Mint Macaron, Old Olive, and Whisper White. Again, more for your fall. So you got your little milk jug with um, some different flowers and stuff, elements coming out of it, pumpkin. This is the other side. I love this color. Oh my goodness, I love this color. Um, you got this side with some cotton and some um, flowers and different things, lake greenery. And then this side. Kind of reminds me of wheat, this one does, but it's a braid. If you guys can see, that looks braided. And then some more wood paper in this paper stack. And then this side. Again, great for cards other than holidays. Some cotton. Cotton cardstock. This is uh, probably the crushed curry yeah this is crushed curry and then the other side it looks um not burlapy but is it linen i can't remember that kind of material i'm trying to think what is that that's not what i'm thinking of and then some more cotton on mint macaron i love this right here i love this mm. And then some tintile and Blackberry Bliss. And then you have some more pumpkins. And then on this side, you've got this, um, this cursed curry. What was the other colors in here? Yeah, that's gotta be crushed curry. That's pretty. Very pretty. Okay, let me show you what to do, how, how to use these galvanized clips. You actually can take them and put them on your DSP or even your cardstock, and you just push them on there, and it doesn't move. You see how it doesn't slide? It's made. So then you can take your ribbon, and you can thread your ribbon through this opening. And if you had one on the other side, you could make the ribbon go across. So it's just another little way. You can use it on like this, or you can actually use it like this. So now I'm gonna move on to some bundles. There are more um, Chris, you know, sweets in the catalog. I just didn't purchase them all at this time. 
but you guys wait till you get your catalog. Oh, I can't wait till y'all see this inside. So this one is called, um, I think this is just Merry Christmas, a Merry Christmas bundle. And it has this great stamp set. Look, I love the little, I love the font, little swishes. Uh, season's greetings from our home to yours. May the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy. You've got, you know, happy holidays, merry and Christmas. Because I think people like in the UK and I'm not sure Australia, but they say happy Christmas, not Merry Christmas. And it is photopolymer. And you are getting, look how big that Merry is. Let me get a piece of paper to kind of show you. Look how big those are. So great for cards. This has some framelits that come with, or thinlets. Framelits, thinlets. Wait till you see these. Look, it actually, you can die cut. Look at that. Christmas, holidays, merry, and happy. And then we've got some uh, frame elements for you, for the sentiments. <gasps> look at that. Yeah, look how big those are. Let me show you. I just kind of show you the size. So that's C. Is about an inch and three eighths, looks like. That that's the toss of the C, and the whole word itself is about four and five eighths. So that's a good size, y'all. That's a good size. Yeah, I that that was definitely on my top list. Well, that's why it's in the first order. <laughs> So that's a great bundle, you guys. If you get these together, oh, look, I did that backwards. I'll fix it. Um, you get these together, you get 10% off if you order both at the same time. Our next uh, bundle, and actually has a coordinating uh, embossing folder, is called the Dashing Deer. Oh, y'all, I'm so excited. I feel like this one is, we had one like this a long time ago. Way before I was a demonstrator, but one similar. So I was very happy to see this back in the holiday catalog. It may not be exactly, but it's, I know it's got to be similar. We have this um, stamp set of the deer with the, um, you know, like a little, I don't know what, design on the deer. Then you have just plain other deers right here that had no design, just kind of like a silhouette. You got many merry thanks, happiest Christmas wishes with appreciation for all you do and for your year-round spirit of giving. And then this comes with the detailed deer thin lit dies. And this is part, this is the bundle. Look, so let me just show you guys. This deer, oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to take this out, you guys. Die cuts this deer, look at that. So again, you can use the stamp and die cut and then you can, or just use this by itself. And uh, this has, how to have this on here <laughs> put this back so look at all these little flowers that you can die cut at one time um, also it does coordinate with this um, and actually this is a poinsettia a poinsettia poinsettia depending on where you are in the world so it can die cut that and then you can do some other ones to go on top you got the two deers that you can die cut um, you have some little swishes like corner um, detail pieces oh, yeah I love that. Oh, yeah. See, here's some more poinsettias. You can, so you can stamp this and then raise it up like a dimensional. And actually, this one is part of, like, on the same page. So I figure it goes with it. It's called Swirls and Curls, Textured Impressions, Embossing Folder. So it looks kind of like snow. I like that. I haven't, you know what I've just realized? I haven't used a lot of embossing folders recently in my cards. I need to get on that. This is another favorite set. It's trees. It's called um, In the Winter Woods. And look here, birch. Oh, I love this. And then these trees right here. Oh, just This just reminds me of Christmas right here. And winter, not just even Christmas, just winter time. You've got the full on fur. What kind of tree that is? You think it's a... Douglas fir or hmm, I don't know. Then you got like a little sprig right here, makes for a great um, wreath. You got a little piece of pine cone, look at that. And then the sentiment on this one is um, thinking of you this season. And then you got like this little piece right here, if you guys can see it right there, looks like it would go underneath the trees. Mm -hmm. So let's see what the thinlets look like. Oh, these are called framelits. <laughs> these are called framelits. Oh, because it frames. So frames. Yeah, 
One day I'll get that. Looky here. Another like a uh, snowy bank thinlet to cut your whisper wide or then you've got a couple little trees right here that goes with these. So you could stamp this and then die cut this and put it put it on top to give it some dimension. You've got the tree punch or framelit to go over that. This cuts out the pine cones. This cuts out the um, little sprig right here. And then you've got just some, um, what do you call it? Just like a sprig, just like a sprig. And I love that they have included two and then three. So you can actually cut three of these at a time and two of these pine cones at a time. That is, I actually love that. I absolutely love that. So you don't have to do one at a time. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about that too. Again, not just for Christmas. You can definitely use this for winter, winter cards, a winter wedding. That would be really pretty. Okay, then the next is just some single stamps. Buffalo check, which is really gingham <laughs> to me. That's gingham. I, uh, this is a, um, uh, what, um, I can't even think now. Background stamp. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I'll be playing with this today. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I love that. And then the next single stamp that I got, and I normally don't really get, like, uh, Santa Claus and so many. I really don't. Um, every once in a while, if I, I might, but I like more of the trees and things like that. And I don't know. But I like this snowman. He is so adorable. Look at these snowmen. You've got, look, he's skating. And over here, he's like jumping for joy. And then you've got the couple here. Oh, that's just so cute. Love never melts. Winter cheer. Your friendship warms my heart. Oh, uh, I can't, yeah, I like this set. I thought it was just adorable, so I, I had to get it. Okay, some other little um, things that we have new is we have brought back shimmer paints. Do you guys remember when we had these before? A long time ago. I can remember. This was way before I was a demonstrator. But we have four colors returning. We have champagne. We have um, bright copper. Uh, Vegas gold and then this one is frost white and this one you guys can actually put some uh, and like maybe a palette or something I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna do that because I can't I haven't used these in so long that I have I'm gonna just play with them again uh, but you can put re anchor with this one mix it up so I'm looking forward to that these are part of a suite but I just I just got the bags and the paper because I like the bags. I don't know if I'm going to get this, the bundle yet. But these are called Santa bags. Look how big these are. And I'll, are, look how big these are. I'll let you guys know. I'll show you guys again. So we've got about four and a quarter, looks like, wide. And then it goes to about five inches. So that's, that's, that's a good size. Put some little treats in there. Pull your twine and look, you got, look at that. Now, what's the good thing about these? You can stamp on these. You can stamp on these. And I am excited about getting these and using these. There, and how many comes in a pack? Eight, eight comes in a pack. Again, this will be part of the accessory share. You'll get one in your um, share. I like that. And these will be great for kids parties, um, have some little, just even have around the house. To like say somebody drops in um, and you, you you have just some little treats or something some candies you can put money in here jewelry gift cards different things like that great for the postman um, your UPS driver he needs a whole bunch of these <laughs> at least mine does okay then we have some new watercolors watercolor pencils and these are new now this is actually part of a bundle that is a limited time during um, the month of August. And a lot of you guys have already seen it. It's called Blended Seasons. I did order it. It just hasn't got here yet. So I can't. I, I was debating whether I was going to get it or not. And then I ended up buying it. So <laughs> so hopefully that will come and I can show you guys. But a lot of people already are showing it all over the place. So all you have to do is look on Pinterest for Blended Season. A lot of great 
cards and stuff. So this has Cherry Cobbler, Flirty Flamingo, Cajun Craze, Crushed Curry, Granny Apple Green, Garden Green, Coastal Cabana, oh my goodness, Balmy Blue, Night of Navy, and Gorgeous Grape. So these are new watercolor color pencils colors. New watercolor pencil colors. Excited about that. Then we have some more blends that I got that are new. I can't remember if this is just new in the catalog or new in the annual, um, annual catalog. And um, they're called, this is Mango Melody. This is called, our, this is our new, let's see, I'm just make sure I say it, Mixed Satin Ribbon. So, one side of the ribbon is gross grain and the other one is satin. Can y'all see that? Let me see if I put this on this paper right here. Oop. See if you guys can see that better. So half of it has gross grain and half of it has satin. This is a pretty cool idea. I, I, I'm looking forward to playing with this because it almost looks like, so when you lay it on a card, like you've got two ribbons laid together. So you don't have to use two ribbons. It's already done it for you. This is our new Take Your Pick tool. This is really good. It has one, two, three, four, five different tools in here. Actually, I'll say three. <laughs> so it is... Just like a pick tool, it's got, mm, it's got a little story. You can put something in there if you want. Let me take this off, Denise. How am I gonna get this off? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Don't do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> okay, there we go. Tighten that back up, Denise. So on tip, you can see it's got the putty right there that's to pick up little pieces you know and put it on there when you need to when you have tiny pieces or even you know die cuts or stuff like that so Denise just put it on there and pull it off it does come with an extra uh, refill for putty and then on this side you've got a spatula and on this side this is our pokey tool which we all call it the paper pe well, I mean, it's technically technically called the paper piercer, but we call it the pokey tool. <laughs> so you have that on each side, or one an, a tool on each side of that. And then you have the stylus. That's great, new tool. These are some baker boxes, and this is actually part of the toil. Is it called Toil and Trouble? It's the Halloween suite. Uh, so this is part of that particular suite. But I just wanted them so I could show you guys for the um, shares. Let's see what they look like. Oh, they got like a little window. These are huge. Guys, I thought these were actually smaller in the catalog. That's another reason why I got them. I, I'm, glad I'm, got, I, I'm glad I got them. This way I can kind of show you guys. Now you can color these, of course. Um, I'm just roughly putting this together. I kind of want to show you guys roughly what they look like. Okay. So, that's cute. Let's measure this. So, I know you guys are like, what size is that, Denise? Truly. So, it measures, um, it's like about four and three eighths, maybe. Oh, yeah, four and three eighths. I think it's a square box. Yeah, so it's four three eight square box. So, and the depth about two and two and eighth inch, two and one eighth. These are the rest of the DSPs, Specialty Designer Series paper that are in the catalog, and I got these so I could show you guys as part of the paper share, the holiday paper share, and um. So I wanted to get them, even though I don't have the coordinating items that go with it. Like this is a part of a suite. This one's part of a suite. This one's part of a suite. Each one of these are part of a suite. So, um, but I just wanted the paper at this time to show you guys. Now, I want you guys to see this paper. Do you see this DSP? It's pearlized. It's pearlized, you guys. Look. Beautiful. And it's got such a beautiful feel to it. Almost pearlized. <laughs> gorgeous so here's the other side the same way oh my goodness what are the colors in this one 
So the colors are Blackberry Bliss, Blushing Bride, Grey Granite, Mary Merlot, Mint Macaron, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Pear Pizzazz, Pineapple Punch, Powder Pink, Soft Sea Foam, Soft Suede, and Tranquil Tide. Whoa, that's a mouthful. And there they all are on this one cheetah DSP. <laughs> I love that. That's such a pretty color, you guys. Okay, and I want to say something that a lot of people said it doesn't look Christmassy. And to some, it doesn't. But I want to show you guys, there are little sprigs of um, pine in here. And some people use flowers a part of their Christmas design. And so that's kind of why I like, I do like this paper because of that. So it's got the little sprigs. You can see like the little um, tree limbs with some berries on it. And so for me, even though it doesn't look Christmassy, completely Christmassy, like, you know, maybe that one does. It does, it, this is like, this is Christmas. This is still Christmas to me. Victorian maybe even with the flowers. And you can use it besides for it's about besides Christmas. Very pretty wedding. This would be pretty for a wedding. A Christmas wedding. These all are all these got this little pearl. Oh my goodness. Every one of these papers has that pearl um look to it. And to remind you guys, in case y'all don't don't know, that Stampin' Up is celebrating their 30th anniversary this year. And a 30th um like gift is pearl. So that's why a lot of our stuff is pearlized. Pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at these flowers. Again, got sprigs of greenery in there for um, Christmas. You could use it for something else. A winter card. Oh my goodness, this could be used for anything. So pretty. I like that Stampin' Up! made this, you know, um, Versatile. So if you purchase it and you don't use it all for Christmas, you have it for the rest of the year. Every one of these, oh my, you guys, just the feel of it is so, oh, it's, oh, it's so luxurious. That is beautiful. I wish you guys, I hope you guys can see the shine on this. I really do. Very pretty. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Oh my, this is beautiful. This is absolutely, I don't know why it's so simple, but it's so stunning to me. And then Mint Macaron Love. And it does have like a little distressed look to it. So I like that. Okay, so that was the, this one was called the Frosted Floral DSP. And it is again, part of a suite. This is the Halloween one. That it, and I got this strictly for the paper share. I, I don't do Halloween. That's why you guys don't see Halloween videos on my YouTube. But still so cute. There you go. Some ghosts. I like this right here. This little, I think that is the gorgeous grape. Pumpkin's great for fall, Thanksgiving. You could even cut the, you know, like uh, fussy cut these out. Use that. And then some broomsticks. Then you got your little pot of, uh, hmm, what is that called? I can't remember. But look, I like how they got like strips. So if you just want to cut a strip of this, you can. So I would use like this. I will even use this right here. And then, what's that granny? We didn't even see the colors. That's got to be got granny apple green. Let's see. Basic Black, Cajun Craze, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Highland Heather, Lemon Lime Twist. Oh, that's Lemon Lime Twist. Um, Mango Melody, Petal Pink, Pumpkin Pie, and Whisper White. Mm, mouthful. Some witches hats. Some frogs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all, I do not like frogs. I am like, I, I, I'm scared. I scared of frogs. Uh, people that have been following me on... Um, Periscope for a long time will be laughing at me for this. I know you guys are laughing, Tamitha, Jeannie, Landa. <laughs> but oh my gosh, okay, that definitely has to get out of my house. <laughs> then um, it's cute, but I don't want it. <laughs> then you have the bats on this side, and there is a bat punch that court that is part of this suite, and it does punch out these bats on this paper. So if you guys want to just use the bats on here, you can actually use that punch on here. Um, and then you have some stars and stuff. I like this paper, this side. 
This one is the Santa's Workshop Specialty Designer Series Paper. This has basic black, coastal cabana, coastal cabana? Oh, right there, okay. Uh, crushed curry, early espresso, garden green, poppy parade, smoky slate, and whisper white. That poppy parade is a new color that I, I just really love. So this actually is flocked. If you guys can tell right here on her little, um, part of her apron, their hat, the little snow. Let's see if you guys can see that. Ooh, very nice. Then you got some holly on the back. <laughs> Ooh, can you tell it's early in the morning? So you get two sheets of that. Oh, this is so cute. Look at, I don't know why I love loving snowman this year. Snow, snowman. This is flocked again as well with the little snow. Y'all, this is very nice. This will be a part of your paper share. Oh. Then you have some trees on the back side. Very nice. And then you have some little elves with their Christmas presents in a line. Just like they would be, you know, in the factory up at Santa's workshop. So that's cute. Again, you can probably just cut this out by itself and use it as a strip. This is the Poppy Parade. Ooh. I like gingham, plaid, and dots. My favorite. Oh, and paisley. So I like that. Oh, some more elves. Looks like they're being, they're hanging up the star and in Santa's bag and riding on the pony, rocking horse. That's cute. And then we have this on the back side. Again, these two especially can be used for ongoing, not just at Christmas. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Y'all, every, the white strips are all flocked. <gasps> Reminds me of a 1970s Elvis velvet print. <laughs> not, not the paper, but the. Uh, that is nice. Wait, good job stamping up. And then you got some bows on the other side. And then there's Santa. Now Santa, oh he has it on his hat. Elves have it on their hat. There's some on the presents. That is cute. That's actually really cute, guys. And then candy canes on the back. The next one is All is Bright Designer Series Paper. This, again, is part of a suite. This, um, the colors in here are Call Me Clover, Cherry Cobbler, Crumb Cake, Garden Green, Red, Real Red, Shaded Spruce, and Whisper White. Almost. These are like colors of the season, right? This is photo, photo, photo paper, like photo, like they took a picture Actually, this was all done at the Stampin' Up! headquarters. They took a picture, um, and then they made this paper with it. So, very pretty. Guys, this would be great for scrapbook pages, not just cards. Great for scrapbook pages. Great if you want to do, like, a picture for a part of your decor, holiday decor. This would be great. This is the other side. Wait, no, wrong one. <laughs> Got some, oh, oh, I like this. I like this. Yeah, I really like that. Then you have some of the old-fashioned light bulbs, which I really do like, you guys. I, I really want to find some actual ones that I could, like, I don't know, rewire or something for my tree. Yeah, I like those. And this is the color. I like this. That's that shaded spruce, I think. Oh, a little bokeh paper going on. That's pretty. This would be, again, pretty for a wedding scrapbook page. Very pretty. And then, what are these on the back? Pine cones? Like pine cones? Yeah, pine cones. If you guys can see that. Mm -hmm. Then we got some stars on this one. And then, I don't want to go too fast here. What's on the other side of this one? Oh, there we go. Stockings. So these are like actual stockings you guys, they took pictures of. Look at that. Cute, 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 cute. This is pretty again. I really do like this. I didn't think I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't think I was gonna like it. <laughs> um, but I do, I actually really do like it. Oh, Some color on the back, oh, I like this. Can you guys see like the texture of the color? Great, again, for nothing, something else besides Christmas. Oh, there's some poinsettias. 
or points at us, depending on what part of the world you are in. So that's cute. Oh, I like that. Oh, this is very pretty. This is kind of the color of scheme I have on my tree right now, but I'm actually changing it this year to match the decor in my house. But very pretty, I like that. Okay, so this is some new, this is part of the Toil and Trouble, Toil, Toil, Trouble Suite. I can't remember exactly what it's called. And this is part of that suite, but I had to get some because I have ideas for it. It is some new black foil. Not, or not foil, what do you call, um, Yes, black foil sheets. I was like doubting myself. So you get two sheets in here, and this again will be part of the paper share. You'll get a six by six inch piece of this, one sheet. For you guys to try, try out, see if you like it. All right, this really is nice. I actually have some ideas for this one too. All right guys, well there you go. That is all of, that is my first holiday catalog pre-order holiday order haul whatever you'd like to call it and I am just happy with all of my selections that I got received on this first order again this was some of my top faves that I liked if you guys would like to order any of the product that you've seen um, this these will be available to purchase on September 5th and if you need a catalog please send me a message either down below or send me an email um, again, there will be a blog post that coordinates with this and you guys can leave me a message there as well. All right. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a great day. Toodles.